Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Airman First Class Marshal Hunsaker. More Afghans are stepping up to defend their country from radical forces, and it poses a big threat to terrorist groups. Air Force Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato tells us how a simple Afghan police ceremony symbolizes a new beginning for the future of Afghans everywhere. This graduation ceremony marks a special event for Afghans everywhere, as hundreds of Afghan citizens become Afghan National Civil Order Police. The uh, Afghan instructors have done a great job morphing these students into uh, fine police officers, uh, ready to engage and defeat a determined enemy. This ceremony is proof of that control, planning and executing everything, from logistics to inviting guest speakers. And in the end, that's the ultimate goal for Lieutenant Will Andrews and his team. One of my main missions here was to show that it is possible to transition sites to Afghan full control. And the way you do that is by following a simple formula of success. And that's working shoulder to shoulder, side by side with your Afghan counterparts. Being one team, there is no such thing as they and them. There's only us and we. This ceremony is the end result of months of training. All for one purpose. And that's to produce highly trained policemen to secure uh, the country of Afghanistan for years to come. This isn't just a graduation. It's a sign of change and hope for a better Afghanistan. Reporting from Logman, Afghanistan, I'm Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzado. And that's your Freedom Watch update. Thanks for watching.